Today, it is time to celebrate... Um... <laughs> Jedi Power Battles. <laughs> Star Wars Episode 1 Jedi Power Battles. <laughs> oh, just good. Slice them and dice them. Jedi Power Fun. That's this game for you. PlayStation 1. Okay? PS1 video game here, right here. It's actually very, very fun. Especially if you play it with uh, someone else. The co-op is, is spectacular. It's so much fun. And, um... <laughs> so, <laughs> me and the B would, um, use uh, cheat codes uh, for this. Game Shark kind of things. You ever, Anyone here remember the Game Shark? Woo! Anyway, we're, so we can have, like, infinite force powers and whatnot... Uh, Qui-Gon Jinn would shoot these, like, energy balls. They were green, and they would home in on the enemies, on the droids. It's just pretty much what this is in an action-adventure game. You're just, you're just cruising through levels, chopping up a bunch of guards, fighting bosses, and then next, boom, next level, ne the next level appears. <laughs> Nothing really significant there. <laughs> but this is the game that introduced me to Plo Koon, the kind of skeleton-looking guy. I've always liked skeletons. So, um, I, I don't know why, but I always have. Um... And he looks kind of like a skeleton, right? His face, his shape, he's got the mask thing, and anyway. So this introduced me, this game introduced me to Plo Koon, uh, one of the Jedis. And he's got a yellow lightsaber in this, yellow. That was so cool. I loved his combos. And he did like a, he had like a lightning force move, right? Yellow lightning. It was so cool. Kind of like a, very cool, very fun. I like that attack a lot. And actually Darth Maul, the game's final boss, has the same lightning attack. Um, I think he's an unlockable character. So just a heads up, uh, the B and I never actually played any of these games in the old days back when we were just wee little tykes, scampering around, being cute and all that. Um, we definitely use cheat codes a lot. So, oh, it's it's fun, Chia God, but really fun and gameplay is really all it's got. I'm going to give you a little, um, little pastory, as it were, uh, a little some history about, um, I like saying the word pastory, right? Because, um, of course, history is based on the words his story. But of course, that just applies to his. Nothing wrong with it. It's just, uh, I thought, what can be more encompassing? So I came up with pastory. I, I don't think anyone thought of it. I'm sure there's pastors and what. So, so that way, that's a past story. Now, technically, all stories are from the past in its own right. But I don't know. Pastory is just old. It's kind of a cool word, I thought. So, um, don't steal it from me. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Just kidding. I did look it up, like, in Google. I don't know if there are really any pastories. You talk about pastors or something like that. So, past story. I think it just really works good. Anyway, time to give you a little pastory about the tweet I made about this game. So, the hint I only gave for the Celebration Appreciation Corner was, it's the ending for you. Yeah, 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 yeah. That is impossible to get because that is an inside joke between me and the bee. There's this one boss in the level Coruscant. And he's a bounty hunter. Long fucking ass level. You gotta jump on the floating goddamn cars. And it's fun, but it's long. It is probably, even to this day, my least favorite level. Not least favorite, but, um... No, probably least favorite because I like fighting the, the battle droids. I love the battle droids, so they're fun to fight. But we fight a bunch of bounty hunters, kind of annoying ones. And there's just so many of them, and it gets a little tedious. And if you die at a certain point, you gotta start all over again. That's the longest level in the game, and it's not even the final level. It's not even the coolest level. But still fun, again. Um, but this is, again, from my perspective. And um, so the reason why that that tweet with um, the yeah, 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 that's the ending for you. That's the stage's final boss, the Corazon's level. That's the boss of, from Corazon, right? So um, he's a big bounty hunter guy. And um, <laughs> he... Um, he fights you, and if you throw a lightsaber at him, it hurts him a lot, right? And you can hit him off screen. But if you hit him off screen, it's such an old game, he doesn't come back on screen. And so you have to. So my brother and I had to restart the goddamn game and start all over from the beginning of the level because we had cheat codes on and we hit the fucker and he, <laughs> he went off. And the sound he makes when he gets hit by a lightsaber that you throw with fourth power, the sound he makes is yeah 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 yeah. And before you start his boss battle, he says it's the ending for you. So. That is the reference I made in the tweet <laughs> about this game session. <laughs> so only me and the B get that joke. But like, there's like no dialogue that's that's that you could pick out from this game. It's just hack and slash, powers and force and armies and killing, and that's it. Good co-op fun, classic gameplay. 
And who doesn't like playing as a Jedi in the old days, right? So, all in all, though, I really did enjoy it. I, it's, this game still holds a special place for me. So, uh, thank you, Jedi Power Battles, Star Wars Episode One, Jedi Power Battles, for good co-op entertainment, some hilarious little glitches now and then. Qui-Gon, by the way, his green energy balls are OP as fuck. Like, nothing can escape those suckers. You just shoot them, you can be facing north, and the enemy can be so southerly, you just you don't think they, they're even there, and, the, and those energy balls will find their way and kill the motherfuckers. Obi-Wan Kenobi has the same kind of powers, uh, but his are weaker, and they're not as um, efficient in locking onto the enemy, so on and so forth. And, um, <laughs> I forget what Mace Windu's power. I think he's the one who can throw a lightsaber. He can throw his lightsaber. Like, you only get one force power move, so Plo Koon's got the lightning. Qui-Gon's got the green energy balls. That's who the B played as, Qui-Gon. I played as Plo Koon. Obi-Wan's got that, I believe. Mace Windu's got the lightsaber throw. And, um, oh, shoot. Well, there are five Jedi you can play in this. I just listed four of them. I don't know who, I forget who the fifth one is. I apologize for the fifth Jedi. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of levels and the final level of course is Darth Maul you fight in the duel of the fates that classic theme ever so broadcast ever so many times and yeah so that's Star Wars Episode 1 Jedi Power Battles thank you this little known gem that's black story for a better word but that's okay because it's really fun I, I guess maybe it's more fun for Star Wars fans which I am and um particular of the Phantom Menace, and I'll tell you why right here. Um, okay, I'm a big, big fan of armies lining up, right? Lining rows and rows of neatly lined up armies. So when I saw this in the theaters, the, the Phantom Menace, um, that droid sequence when they're about to battle the gun guns, woo, I loved it! Because ever since I was a baby, um, I would have these little toy animals, right? And I would line them up, head to tail, head to tail, head to tail, so patiently, and a perfect line, right? So there's always something about lining things up, lining up an army. That's always spoken to me. I don't know why. So when I saw this movie, and I saw all those droids, I just thought to myself, I want an army of droids just like that. And so over the course of 15 to 20 years later, Several times later, I had amassed a grand droid army. You know those little action figures, the little three-inch figurines? Guess what? So they're like, I want to say, maybe 40 different varieties of battle droids over the years that have came out. My goal was to get 20 of each of them. And believe it or not, I have succeeded with at least 30 of them. So I have amassed an army of battle droids. At the time, I would line them up and have them fight it out. And in this game, you can battle a ton of battle droids. I got the security droid. I got the droidicas. I got the regular battle droids. I got the brown battle droids. I got the super battle droids. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm a bit of a geek. I don't know why. There's just something about seeing an army lined up that speaks to me. I cannot explain it. I love it to this day. I still have them all. I never gave them away or sold them. I still have my army. I've got even the vehicles. I've even got some very rare vehicles. I even got... Y'all remember the Lego Death Star? The Death Star 2 Lego? Um, back when it was just 150 bucks, and now it sells for like $1,400 or $1,100 on eBay. Brand new. It can even sell for... No, it's $2,000 brand new. I think it can still sell for $1,400 um, opened, but um, like relatively unused. It can even sell for $600, I think. It was just completely constructed. I have that very same Death Star. The Lego Death Star 2. And I got it when it was 150 bucks. <laughs> so if I ever choose to sell that, I don't intend to. Um, I'm going to make a, a profit with that sucker. And I never constructed it. It's still in the box. Very lovely looking box. And um, all the, um, the pieces, the Lego pieces are all still in the bags. I just opened the box to look at the pieces. But everything is, as you can say, probably... Uh, in eBay terminology, um, like new condition. So, the Death Star Lego, Death Star Two Lego set. If you ever look that up, it's called the Death Star Two from Return of the Jedi. I have it. I've got the box. I've got all of it. All of it. I got that fucker. <laughs> I bought it in the store too. So, 
And so let's wrap this up again. Thank you, Star Wars Episode 1 Jedi Power Battles, and a little look into Jeep's craziness and his collectorsness. I got a lot of Star Wars shit. I've got a General Grievous slideshow collectibles. I'm going to say it for first. Thank you, Jedi Power Battles, so much. Thank you. Now I'm going to.